on Iran's nuclear sites. When the grim fog of conflict descends and the stakes involve the very fabric of global stability, a nation faces a stark choice between diplomatic efforts and the unyielding necessity of decisive power and pinpoint precision. Just two days ago, on June 22, 2025, the world watched as a new chapter in this eternal struggle unfolded. With tensions spiraling, the U.S. and its allies found themselves at a crossroads, needing to confront a critical threat with an unprecedented show of force. In this volatile equation, one weapon stood poised, head and shoulders above the rest, an aircraft that seemed to leap from the future, a ghost in the shadows, the B-2 Spirit Bomber. This wasn't merely a strategic deployment, it was the ultimate expression of a singular war philosophy, to deliver a punch so deep into enemy airspace, so utterly unseen, that even the most advanced radar systems would remain oblivious. So, how did this enigmatic wing built for an unseen war, become the spearhead for an attack on some of the world's most fortified and clandestine nuclear sites, achieving what others could only dream of. The mission's philosophy, vanishing into the heart of the threat. The B-2 Spirit's design philosophy was forged in the crucible of the Cold War, envisioned to overcome the Soviet Union's increasingly sophisticated air defense networks. Its deployment in this recent critical strike against Iran's nuclear facilities marked the ultimate validation of that philosophy. For decades, deep strike operations into highly defended airspace were either impossibly risky or demanded a costly attrition of conventional forces. The B-2, by its very existence, rewrote that calculus. Stealth technology, the radar's absolute blind spot. The B-2's paramount advantage in the recent strikes against Iran was, without question, its unrivaled stealth capability. Unlike the A-10's rugged armor against ground fire, the B-2's armor is its meticulously engineered radar-absorbent materials and its unique flying wing design. This revolutionary structure diminishes the aircraft's radar cross-section, RCS, to such an extent that even modern, high-frequency radar systems struggle to register it as anything more than atmospheric clutter, or, more likely, nothing at all. Imagine this. You're operating an advanced air defense network, screens ablaze with countless contacts, yet a massive bomber carrying tons of high highly destructive ordnance is gliding directly overhead, completely unseen. This isn't just a technical edge, it's a profound psychological blow. An invisible enemy is the most terrifying, and the B-2 inflicted that terror upon Iran's command and control. Iran's layered air defenses, including formidable S-300 batteries, were rendered largely impotent against these ethereal invaders. This unprecedented stealth allowed the B-2s the luxury of choosing optimal flight paths and attack angles while completely negating any chance of real-time enemy reaction. Global Reach The Thunderbolt from Across the Horizon A crucial factor in striking Iran's deeply buried nuclear facilities is the sheer distance involved. The lack of readily available forward bases for large-scale conventional bomber operations makes Global Reach an indispensable asset. The B-2 Spirit is engineered for exactly this challenge, capable of flying over 11,000 kilometers, nearly 7,000 miles, on a single tank of gas, meaning it can take off from its home base in the United States, strike its target, and return without ever landing on foreign soil. This extraordinary reach liberates the U.S. from reliance on Allied basing permissions or the inherent risks of positioning assets close to the front lines. Sustained by aerial refueling, B-2s executed multi-hour, non-stop flights from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, across continents, directly to targets deep within Iran. These tanker aircraft acted as the lifeline in the sky, the unseen umbilical cord that fueled the mission's success. This demonstrated that the B-2 is not merely a strategic asset. It is a self-sufficient geopolitical force, multiplier capable of delivering decisive action anywhere, anytime. Devastating payload, the earth-shaking bunker buster. The B-2 doesn't just slip past defenses with unparalleled stealth. Once inside, it carries an overwhelming destructive capacity. With a payload capability of up to 18 tons, it can deploy a variety of precision-guided munitions. For the recent strikes on Iran, the weapon of choice for the most hardened targets, particularly the Fordo facility, was reportedly the GBU-57 Massive Ordnance Penetrator, ME Prum NDBMUO, and EOP. Iran's nuclear program has famously relied on deep underground and highly fortified facilities designed to withstand conventional attack. 
tanks. Standard bombs are simply insufficient. The MOP, a colossal 30,000 pound, 13,600 kilograms bomb, is designed precisely for this challenge. It can penetrate dozens of meters of reinforced concrete and rock before detonating, creating a devastating internal explosion. The B-2 is one of the few platforms capable of carrying such specialized munitions and, crucially, delivering them with the precision required to hit a specific tunnel or chamber buried hundreds of feet beneath a mountain. It's not just a bomber. It's the ultimate precision instrument for subterranean warfare. The operational execution, a silent, decisive blow. The B-2 operation against Iran's nuclear sites was undoubtedly a masterpiece of silent execution. Reports indicate that B-2s took off from their home base, undertaking multi-day flights, meticulously planned down to the second. With a minimal crew of two, they managed sleep cycles and fatigue while traversing vast distances. The B-2s penetrated Iranian airspace undetected. They likely focused their initial strikes on Iran's most critical nuclear infrastructure, Fordow, Natanz, and Isfahan, often employing the MOP. These surgical strikes, delivered with impossible precision, aimed to cripple Iran's enrichment capabilities. The ability of the B-2 to hit multiple, critical targets in a single, unannounced sortie drastically accelerated the operation's effectiveness. This aircraft alone possesses the capacity to fundamentally alter the strategic landscape. Challenges overcome. The B-2's unmatched solution, Iran's vast territory, challenging mountainous terrain, and layered air defense systems posed formidable obstacles. Yet, the B-2 was conceived, built, and deployed to conquer precisely these challenges. Layered air defense. The B-2's stealth allowed it to bypass and neutralize these layers without detection. Geographic depth and basing independence. Its global range enabled the U.S. to strike deep within Iran without needing to compromise or rely on sensitive forward operating locations. Hardened and underground targets. Its immense payload capacity, specifically with the GBU-57 MOP, provided the unprecedented ability to reach and destroy fortified subterranean facilities that were previously thought impregnable. In this recent historic engagement, the B-2 wasn't merely a piece of hardware. It was tangible proof of a nation's absolute capability to reach and neutralize its most critical and strategically hardened targets, unseen and with unerring precision. This capacity not only serves as a profound deterrent, but also, when deterrence fails, wields the power to deliver a decisive blow with an undeniable strategic advantage. The B-2 spirit, despite its limited numbers and astronomical cost, has once again proven itself as one of the most unique and terrifying instruments of modern warfare. It is not merely a machine, it is the embodiment of invisibility, precision, and absolute strategic effectiveness. The B-2, a shadow in the enemy's heart, stands as the silent yet devastating expression of American military power. So, in the aftermath of these strikes, do you think the B-2's unparalleled performance has once again underscored its irreplaceable value in modern conflict? Or do future air defense advancements threaten to finally challenge its dominance? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this video insightful, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.